Hey, what's up YouTube? Glassbox Aquarius here. And today I want to show you how I clean my FX6s. I am only going to do the one today on the 90 gallon and these three fives. But I did want to go ahead and show you guys this process. Quick video. People have done a dozen of these before. I'm going to shoot you guys one real quick as well. Um, but the Fluval does make it super easy. It does have these shutoff valves on both sides for the in and out. They do make it super easy as well with the in and out labeled so there's no mistakes. All we're going to do is shut off the power. In this case, I'm just going to unplug it, pop these valves off, and get this started. That's it there. Unplug it. Turn the knobs. It's got these little release valves on either side. Probably would have been a good time to get a towel. And that's it. Time to take her outside. All right, guys. So we're in the backyard couple things that you're gonna need for cleaning your FX6 or just in general cleaning any filter um, either do it in the sink or do it in the backyard I got a couple buckets one empty that's gonna hold all the cycled media that's in there and the other one just clean tap water now I know what someone's gonna say but Chris shouldn't you wash those foam filters in tank water I'm not too worried about it I got enough cycled media in this canister filter that I'm gonna be just fine on the FX6 it does make it super easy they get these little twist knobs you just go around and undo all of them They do fold out of the way, making it even easier. And this FX6 is kind of nasty. Coolest thing about these, it does have the little handles. And you can pull the whole system right out one shot. Guys, check that out. Look at all that stuff just floating around in there. Don't know if it comes up on camera, but water's clear, but there is moam, poop, all kinds of junk in there. So I am gonna save this water for the moment. As nasty as it is. These fold away. And I have all kinds of cycled media that I do want to save. These sponges are just nasty. Let's see if I can pop this tray out. Please put that tray in there to keep everybody good. The rest of this, oh. Just gonna drop it in there for now. She'll be all right. After that, it's time to get dirty and get this clean bucket and the hose ready. Now it's time to start rinsing. What I try to do is rub them together. It's super nasty, but if you rub it together, you do get a lot more stuff out of it a lot quicker. I will rinse these with the hose again. 
maybe put it on the jet stream and try to shoot more of this junk out. These pads on the FX6 are reusable. Um, unless they rip apart or something like that, you're probably gonna be using these for years. You could probably change them out though once a year. You know, they do get discolored after a while. But honestly, the ones that I ran on my, the Fluval, the uh, Aquaclear 110s, uh, some of those lasted I don't know, years. I just kept rinsing them out. They treated me just fine. But yeah, this is the, I wouldn't call it the fun part of the hobby, but this is the dirty part of the hobby. You know, beautiful, pristine tank. And eventually you have to play with fish poop. So, uh, yeah, just a real part of the game. Nobody wants to do it, but if you want a healthy tank, that's what you have to do once in a while. It's like taking care of any pet. Clean the litter box, take it out for a walk to do its business, reptile cage, whatever. So guys, I just want to show you this real quick. This is using the bucket technique where you just dunk them in the bucket, squeeze the water out of it. You know, if you're using tap water or the recommended, you know, tank water, it just doesn't come out as clean. This is what happens when I run it under the tap or the hose. It comes out so much cleaner. You want to keep some of that beneficial bacteria in the sponges, but I've never had an issue with it. I run enough cycled media in the filters. So I'm going to quickly put this back together. I'm going to rush it a bit only because it's 90 degrees outside right now and this phone is overheating all right bottom tray is done tray number two and tray number three make sure everything's lined up nice and neat this way you can put the handles back into place and it's time to drop her back in right, everything's back in i pre-filled the main body of the fx6 with clean water I'm not worried about the beneficial bacteria. It's going to be hooked up in a matter of seconds and all this clean water is going to cycle out into the tank anyway. We're going to slap this top back on. I'll bolt her down and I'll show you guys how we hook it back up. All right guys, so we're back inside. It's a little cooler. I already tightened down all of these. Remember when you try to do it, try to go into some kind of pattern. Um, this way it all evenly tight, tightens down, um, so like every other one all the way around, then the next group, they just need to be hand tight, there's no tools needed or anything like that. And now it's time just to hook everything back up. The Fluvo made it easy. Just push it right down, good to go. Plug her back in. Now it is self priming. It's gonna start right up. It's gonna run for about a minute. And then it's gonna do a purge on itself to push out any trapped air in the system. We're gonna reopen these valves so the water can actually flow. So guys, like I was saying, that is how you clean an FX6, or at least I do. I keep it quick, simple, and easy, nothing fancy. Um, could you change out some of the guts while you're doing it? Sure. Could you throw in carbon or any other kind of media in there as well? Obviously, um, you put in whatever you like. You can see I just use bio media and the sponges. I don't run any char charcoal or a C-cam or anything like that in there. 
And like I've said it before, I love my FX6s. I still got this one brand new in the box for the 150. I'm gonna get this tank together as soon as I possibly can. And using the FX6 again to run the new rack system. Wires are a complete mess. Almost everything is up and running. Everybody is doing well on this rack as well. But yeah, FX6 all the way around. Guys, thanks for checking this out again. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Always appreciate the feedback.